What is going on guys, John Rue the PB Fit, and today we're talking about the Adrenaline Lux. That's right, this is more than just a high-end marker. This is an ultra high-end marker. This is a super high-end marker. This is a, I don't have enough money to own this marker, so I'm borrowing it from my friend, Mark Simone. Thank you so much, Mark, for hooking me up, allowing me to not only use this marker on the field, but actually do a solid review on it. So I really appreciate it. These Adrenaline Luxes are super limited. I'm talking incredibly limited and they're super expensive, as I said. So you really gotta jump on it. As soon as they start to release these like custom designed, custom milled markers, you gotta jump on it early because they sell out quick and you're gonna be waiting a while for one. I have a friend who's been waiting over a year for his custom Adrenaline Lux. So if you really want one, you may be waiting a minute or you can buy it on the secondhand market for an absorbent amount of money. Like I see these things going for like three grand plus depending on the anno and stuff. So these markers are expensive, but just looking at it, you can see why. Starting from the bottom, we are looking at the on off ASA. It is a lever style ASA. It's really nice. However, I am more of a fan of the pop style ASA because it's a little bit easier for me to use personally. I don't like something sticking out the bottom, but this is a great ASA. Airs your marker up really fast and does a really good job of purging air. Now, the grips of this marker are actually really, really nice. I love the grip of this marker. It feels really good in the hands. It's not too soft and squishy. It's not too hard and uncomfortable. They did a really, really good job finding that happy medium with the quality of the grip and the material that they use in the grip. And just like any other Lux, you have the Lux board that talks to you. Now, that is one of the perks of the Lux. Now, if you're lonely, it'll talk to you. So you can go and turn it on. It's going to talk to you. It's going to let you know about its battery level. Level. It's gonna let you know what you're shooting just in case you forgot and all that good stuff And it is really easy to program. So it's a great board I don't see the, any reason why they should change because it does a fantastic job it's Easy to see even in the sunlight now with the foregrip they change this up a little bit from the Lux X as far as the angle, right? So honestly, I like it a little bit better than the Lux X as far as the angle of the foregrip goes. And Adrenaline actually went and did a little bit more milling in it, so it's a little bit easier to hold than a regular TM40 as well. So I really think that's a great thing that they did. This marker feels amazing in the hands. I just gotta, I cannot emphasize that enough. It is It's so amazing. And for whatever reason, feels lighter. I don't know, it's probably placebo because I'm like, this gun's really expensive. But it feels so good in the hands. I love what they did with this thing. Great trigger. It has some weight to it, which I appreciate. I don't like really light, floppy triggers. I like triggers that have some weight that you can easily adjust that feel really nice and they feel like you're actually pressing down on a trigger. I really like the design of this trigger. I love blade triggers, especially in today's paintball world. Like we're not really doing semi uncapped, but this is a fantastic trigger. It feels amazing. It has a little bolt on it. So you know, it is an adrenaline trigger and it just works really well, really snappy. It's a fantastic trigger. Now, as you can tell, every adrenaline has a number associated with it. So this is number 202. So just like anything else, limited edition, it's gonna have the adrenaline symbol on there and it's gonna have what number the marker was issued as, which I think is really awesome that they're doing that because it really emphasizes the limited edition aspect of this marker. Going to the bolt, the bolt is an amazing bolt system. This was a huge upgrade from the X as well. Now, the adrenaline bolt is also the F16 bolt. This bolt system really works well. 100 PSI is crazy low. This thing gets awesome efficiency and it's buttery smooth. Um, so I really appreciate the shot quality of the Adrenaline Lux. Now take out the engine super easy. You pull up and you pull out, super easy to deal with, super easy to clean, super easy to maintain, which I'm gonna go over in a second. The eye covers. The eyes are awesome eyes. You just push the lever in, press down on the front of it, and the eye covers come off. Super easy, and guess what? No rubber detents. It has plastic detents, so you never have to worry about changing out these detents Ever. One thing I don't like is having to change out rubber detents. So something you don't have to worry about. The less you have to worry about, the more you can worry about playing and winning and all that other stuff. So I love the eye covers. Toolless, amazing system. Feed neck, it's your Q-lock feed neck. It's been around forever. Adrenaline with the extra mile and even mill the lever, which is amazing. Really easy to tighten and loosen. So if you're changing out your hoppers or something like that. Let's say you're playing speedball and you're using your spire, right? And then, hey, I'm gonna go play some mech. You're gonna to wanna to use your rotor for that force fed action, right? So you can go ahead and switch it out really quickly, just as quickly as you could switch to mech, which I will also go over. Now this system here is a Freak XL, been out for a while now, 
eight inch control bore, amazing barrel system. The Freak system is tried and true. You never have to worry about it failing on you. It's just absolutely fantastic. If you wanna get real fancy with it, they have stainless steel inserts for even a finer hone. So I mean, if you wanna go all out like Get an Adrenaline Lux, get stainless steel inserts, and you're gonna be balling out with this marker. It's gonna shoot absolute butter. And I really like the way that this Lux is set up because it's a really long gun. I like, you always hear me saying it, I have long arms though. I like long markers. I like to feel like I'm in complete control of my marker. Where I point, I'm shooting, right? I'm not like flailing all over the place, right? So I like long setups. This allows me to do that. Now switching to mech, super easy. First thing you're doing is you're gonna take out your bolt. Then from there, there's two latches, one on the bottom and one on the top, here where your bolt was. So you're gonna push this one all the way down and then you can go ahead and slide out your grip frame. It's that easy, it's incredibly easy, right? Now, you're like, I don't need this solenoid. There's a purple tab here. All you're gonna do, push down that purple tab, it's gonna lay flat, go ahead, pull your solenoid out. Every adrenaline mech frame comes with this nice case and some other parts you're gonna have to use to actually shoot mech. So, this mech frame, absolute money, guess what? Comes with the on-off ASA, as it should, fantastic. Now, it's really too easy to install the mechanical valve. The only thing you need to make sure of is that the holes are facing the O-rings here on this, on this uh, brass piece here. So all you're gonna do is you're just gonna push it down and then you're gonna lock it up similar to the way that the solenoid was, and boom, you've installed it. Then, all you have to do is put your front grip back in, and then once you go ahead and you switch it out, then you have this incredible mech marker. Man, this thing is so awesome. The trigger is really unique. It has like a fish tail at the bottom. I don't know what that's about, but I think it just allows you to get your finger placed better on it. I don't know, but man, you can rip this thing. Honestly, I shot the CS2 mech, I shot uh, the Adrenaline mech, and I can tell you right now, this thing rips faster. I'm, I'm gonna be straight up with you because I've shot both. I've shot a 170, I shot an EMEC, fully upgraded, everything. This thing is just money. You get what you pay for sometimes, and this is one of those situations. Now, how do you maintain this beautiful marker? Obviously, we're gonna go over the engine. That's a given. But one thing I'm not gonna go over is regulator. The regulator is the exact same array that they've been using in the previous Lux X. Go ahead, check out my Lux X review in the description. You can go ahead and fast forward to where I do regular maintenance and you can go ahead and watch that. It's just, I'm about to catch a flight in a couple minutes and here I am doing this video and my wife's gonna kill me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go straight into the engine of this marker and do a quick maintenance, something that you do pretty much after every day of play. Now looking at this engine, this is the Adrenaline Lux bolt system with the F16 bolt. This thing shoots absolute money and it's really easy to maintain. Now, first thing you do is you're gonna take it apart and it comes apart in a few pieces. You're just gonna unscrew the front part of the can, then you're gonna push the bolt through the back of the can. You can go ahead and remove the front o-ring of that bolt if you want to. I don't, it pushes right through really easily. Then from there, you're gonna unscrew the gold part of the can. And with that, it's gonna come apart into three pieces, a purple, a silver, and a gold. I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm not gonna use technical terms because I'm not a technical guy. So one thing you have to notice is there is a spring in the back of this right here. You wanna make sure that you don't bend that spring when putting the purple part back in. You just wanna make sure you line that up nicely. And if your spring is bent, you may wanna get that replaced. Um, but for the most part, it's not like the really old Luxes where the springs used to bend all the time because it was like in the bolt itself. You're gonna, what you wanna do is you're gonna take it all the way apart. This Silver piece here may seem like it doesn't come apart, but guess what, it does. All you're gonna do is use a purple part if you need to, to push through, and you're gonna go ahead and remove that piece. So essentially this piece just snaps on to the gold portion of the can. And just like anything else, you're gonna go ahead and wipe everything down. You're gonna clean it all the old loop off or any remnants of debris or anything like that. And you're gonna go ahead and get it all nice and clean before you apply your lube. Now the lube that you're gonna to wanna to use on the Adrenaline Lux is what comes with it. Dow 33 is the way to go. Grease, whatever they're gonna call it nowadays. That's what you're gonna to wanna to use to make sure your Adrenaline Lux is working perfectly fine. So I always start with the things that are easiest. The gold can, you don't really need to put any lube on it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and lube up the bolt, the bolt, the top portion of the can, the guide, the silver portion that goes on top of the gold portion of the can, 
And also the static O-rings that are on the back of the, the latch. So just put lube on everything, right? Just so it doesn't dry out and crack and fray and then you have leaking issues. From there, you're really just gonna put everything back together the way you took it apart. For the gold portion of the can with the silver thing that snaps on, you're gonna impress hard, right? You're gonna hear it snap on there. Once it snaps on there, you can go ahead and put the purple bolt guide back in and you're gonna go ahead and make sure, like I said, you don't bend that spring down there and twist it back on. Then you're gonna go ahead and push your bolt through the top portion of the can. So where the threads are, you're gonna push it through there. Once you get it through there, you're gonna go ahead and screw the top portion of the can back on the gold bottom portion of the can. All right, and once that's done, you're gonna go ahead and just slip it back in, pull on the back of the bolt, and boom. You've just maintained the core of the Adrenaline Lux. All right, y'all, so what do I think about the Adrenaline Lux? Honestly, this thing is the, the best marker out there. I mean, it's an ultra high end. It's out of my price range. It's super awesome. Anything that Adrenaline releases is fantastic. I don't know if you guys remember the Adrenaline Shocker, which was based off the XLS. An amazing marker as well. Beautiful milling, everything like that. Um, it's, a, it's a premium mark, ultra premium marker. Now, you're going to pay a lot of money for these. You can't buy these new anymore, so you're going to be paying on the used market. Go ahead and just search. Adrenaline Lux on the BSTs, and you'll see how much these are gonna cost you. Literally an arm and a leg. Uh, but like I said, you get what you pay for. I mean, it's not like the other custom milled markers that are coming out where it's just custom milling. These guys have different things going on, different bolt systems, different triggers, different mech frames, a whole lot of stuff that they release that is unique to the Adrenaline family of markers. Badging is definitely different and everything is very unique. One thing is when you're ordering through Adrenaline though, you're going to be waiting a while. Like I said, my friend has waited over a year for his custom anodized Adrenaline Lux, which honestly, that's crazy amount of time. That is a crazy amount of time. A year, um, I understand custom things take a while, but a year is a long time, especially when you have these things that are being released throughout that, you know, like they're releasing different colors, different things like that, different regulators that they're doing, different things. I mean, I just, I just think that, um, that I don't know why it takes them so long. I don't know why it takes forever. I, I think the biggest thing is the anodization process, but like my buddies has been anodized for a while now and it's sitting in assembly. It's been sitting in assembly for like, I don't even know how long now, maybe a month or more. Um, so why is it taking so long to get put together? I don't know. But um, with that being said, I mean, just know, yes, you are gonna buy a premium, amazing, beautiful marker, but you may be waiting a while and you will be paying a premium price. I think more companies should be doing these custom, awesome, fancy things um, that really make your marker unique with the systems that we all love, right? You see Project coming out with their markers. I think Project just should do different things mechanically with it rather than just a different body. Well, I love the different bodies, trust me. I love that they're coming out with different, not just anodization anymore, but different milling. I think that Project should start doing stuff like this where they come out with their own triggers, come out with their own things that make it a step up from the regular CS2 or the regular Lux TM40. Anyways, guys, Thanks so much for listening. Thanks for watching this review. By the way, anything that I went over here, you can apply it to the TM40. So go ahead and do that. If you have a TM40, this video will help you out as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe my videos, hit the bell so when you know I'm posting more videos, and I'll be sure to talk to you guys soon. Peace.